82 people. Uh, shall we start? Good afternoon, yes. everybody. Um, good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mikhail Kisilov. I'm a coordinator of uh, Condensed Matter Postgraduate Program of Abdu Salam International Center uh, for uh, Theoretical Physics. We start today our uh, diploma question and answer Zoom uh, session uh, devoted to new application for 2021-2022 uh, academic year. I suggest uh, the procedure will be as follows. I will first introduce you uh, the coordinators of um, diploma program, secretaries of uh, the diploma program and uh, head of the um, uh, public information office. Uh, then I say a few words, um, one, two minutes about the program in general. Uh, then I give a floor to coordinator um, who will um, uh, also say a few words about program in each uh, section um, of the ICTP. Uh, then we proceed with those questions uh, which are already submitted. Uh, and uh, <coughs> uh, then we proceed uh, with a live session um, asking uh, and answering questions. So I uh, kindly request uh, that participants keep their microphone muted um, and send uh, questions uh, through uh, the chat. Um, um, Marianne, uh, you want to add something uh, about rules, please? Uh, Marianne Williams is head of public information office. Please. You are muted. Um, okay. Um, the ICTP postgraduate diploma program was founded in 1991. Um, as of today, it consists of program of five sections, namely high energy cosmology and astroparticle physics. And the coordinator of this program um, is Giovanni um, uh, uh, Villadora. Uh, then condensed metaphysics, um, it's me, Mikhail Kiselev. Uh, then mathematics uh, coordinator is Professor Lothar uh, Goetsche. Um, Earth system physics coordinator um, is uh, Professor Giovanni, sorry, uh, sometimes I say professor, sometimes not. We are all professors, uh, uh, Giovanni Farnetti and quantitative life science uh, coordinator, Antonio Cilani. Um, so you see uh, the faces, um, these are five uh, persons who are going to speak with you today. Uh, there are uh, two secretaries of, of the program. Uh, these are the most important people, by the way, of the program. These are Patrizia Pazarella, uh, you see Patricia um, and uh, Sandra uh, Alimanovic. Um, and of course, um, the uh, staffs, um, I hope that heads of some section will join us uh, during the meeting. Um, and lecturers, um, we have a big uh, family um, of uh, ICTP. Uh, so this is our team or representatives of our team. Um, as I said, I say uh, really few words. Uh, this is uh, really uh, the session of questions and answers. And first of all, I would like to say that many answers to your questions uh, can be directly founded by visiting ICTP, www.ictp.it, uh, diploma.ictp.it, uh, and visiting ICTP YouTube channel. So basically, these are three main sources for answering um, your questions. Um, but still, we will be happy uh, to welcome you uh, for this Zoom meeting and also welcome um, your uh, questions. Uh, so first of all, please. Uh, Professor Kisilev, I just wanted to remind participants that in order to ask a question, they have to raise their hand. The chat has been disabled. OK. Uh, then, first of all, raise your hand, um, and then uh, you will be allowed to unmute your microphone uh, and ask question. And by asking question, please, first of all, uh, tell us your name and the country uh, uh, you are from. Um, this is uh, very important. I see the first question already uh, um, uh, 
uh, done from Mohammed Abid. I'm sorry, uh, uh, we proceed with the questions later. Now um, we um, present general uh, information and I guess that uh, answers to some of your questions will already be given during these uh, short presentations. So as I said, the program uh, was founded in 1991. So this year we celebrate 30 years um, of the program. It includes um, a program in five sections. I already listed them. Uh, so it's very successful program. One of the uh, pilot, and the most, uh, one of the flagship programs of, of the ICT team. Please mute your microphone. Um, otherwise we will have a very high level of the noise. I appreciate if, if you do that. So it's very successful flagship program of ICTP and many uh, persons who graduated from uh, this program entered PhD programs um, in most prestigious universities of the world, uh, got a PhD and many, many of our former students returned to their uh, home country and became professors. Um, so um, the program assumes um, participation of 10 students per section. So in total, uh, we will be happy to welcome about 50 um, uh, fresh students for academic year 2021-2022. Uh, and uh, the information about prerequisites, and there are some prerequisites like master degree, which in exceptional case can be a bachelor degree in corresponding field, mathematics, um, physics, um, or related field, are explicitly uh, written on the home page of the ICTP. Uh, the deadline of application is extended until uh, February 15. Um, uh, and um, again, um, the information about how to apply and detailed instructions are available um, at the homepage. Now I would like to start um, with the uh, um, coordinators of section. So Giovanni, uh, it's your floor. Thank you. Ah, thank you very much. I'll just uh, spend a few words, just introduce the high energy diploma program. So our diploma program basically covers the field of high energy physics, the physics of fundamental interaction, cosmology, astroparticle physics, until probably the boundary of uh, with, mat with mathematics and condensed matter. So our diploma program basically is structured with the first uh, uh, eight, nine months of uh, uh, courses. We have uh, eight uh, compulsory courses plus extra uh, extra courses, and the eight compulsory courses start from basics of uh, uh, quantum mechanics and the Lie groups, and end with the standard model, quantum field theory, uh, general relativity, and so on. Uh, and the last three months are usually devoted to. Uh, some uh, thesis, some diploma thesis on the project that the students uh, uh, work on, supervised by, by us. And uh, that, uh, this will lead to a thesis, which uh, basically ends the diploma program. Uh, well, we, I think this is all I wanted to say for now. I'll leave uh, the rest for, uh, for questions. Uh, thank you, Giovanni. Uh, Lothar, it's your floor. The floor is yours, please. Please unmute your microphone. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm Lothar Götze, the coordinator of the diploma program in mathematics. So uh, the basic uh, structure is uh, very similar to, to that in high energy physics. We have two semesters of basic uh, graduate courses in, in mathematics. So in the first semester, it's uh, more basic. We have algebra, real analysis, complex analysis, topology. And in the second semester, there are some choices. We offer seven courses, you choose five. So uh, this year, the courses among which you can choose would be uh, representation theory, algebraic topology, differential geometry, uh, algebraic geometry, uh, functionalities, uh, PDE and dynamical systems. So, <clears throat> and then you can choose what you would like to specialize in. And then afterwards, um, uh, there's again, uh, three months of uh, work on a thesis, which is uh, typically that you uh, read uh, some more advanced book and you understand it, you write it down in a nice way and you uh, can explain it to us in the defense. But uh, in 
very rare cases, there can also be a research component. So um, it was said in the beginning by uh, uh, Michael that uh, usually a master degree is required. We, uh, in mathematics, we usually, uh, I mean, uh, we are not so strict with that requirement. We somehow judge uh, uh, what, what we see, but the, the formal degree, I mean, certainly one needs at least a bachelor degree, but it's not strictly necessary to have a master degree. Okay, so for the moment, that's uh, what I wanted to say. Uh, thank you, Lothar. Uh, Ricardo, please. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Ricardo Farnetti, the coordinator of the Earth System Physics Diploma Program. So our program uh, consists of a first term, which is common to all 10 students. And all 10 students uh, follow general courses that are for example, wave physics, geophysical fluid dynamics, and numerical methods. Then at the beginning of the second term, the students have to choose um, the path they want to follow. And so you have two choices. One is solid earth geophysics, and the other path is climate physics. So whether you are more inclined to do uh, geophysics, seismology, and, and the physics of the earth, of the solid earth, then you would do courses on theoretical seismology, applied seismology, physics of volcanoes, and, and courses like that. If you are interested instead on climate physics, then you would follow this path and you would do courses that are uh, basically the physics of the atmosphere, physics of climate, physics of the ocean, the interaction, among the different parts of the Earth system. And common courses during the second semester are numerical methods again. And, um, and I think that's it. So at the end of the second term, again, as every other diploma program, you will have to do a research thesis. In our case, it's always a research thesis that could be uh, uh, using uh, data sets or, or independent uh, research. Uh, followed by one of the uh, lecturers of our section, and you will have to defend uh, the research thesis at the end of the diploma. That's it, I think. Thank you, Ricardo. Antonio, please. Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, welcome, everybody. So my name is Antonio Celani, I'm the coordinator of the Quantitative Life Sciences uh, program. Uh, so I will not go very much into the details uh, about how the program is structured. You can uh, read them uh, uh, in uh, the web page on the ICTB website. Um, I just wanted to tell you a couple of words about uh, what, what this program is and uh, why it does it exist. So it's, uh, it's uh, the most recent one among the programs here at ICTB. It, was, uh, it started just a couple of years ago. And it was uh, uh, built upon the uh, demand uh, from students uh, all over the world of uh, uh, getting some uh, uh, education in uh, subjects which lie at the interface between uh, physics and biology and between physics and data science. So the main uh, avenues over which we uh, develop our course are this uh, uh, concepts uh, like uh, what can physics say about biological systems, uh, what is a, a physical understanding of what machine learning does, uh, what is uh, uh, understanding ecology and evolution from the viewpoint uh, uh, of the physical language, etc. Okay, so that's just to give you an idea uh, of the uh, motivations that led us to establish this, uh, this diploma. So together with me today, there's also one of our uh, uh, faculty, Edgar Rodan, I see him uh, around, yeah, it's waving. And we also have one uh, student of this year, uh, Karel, yes, Karel, can you wave your hands? Okay, so the, uh, uh, I don't know whether there is a student from the past year, Fahad, are you around? Okay, if, uh, yeah, there is, so, so Fahad is a student for, uh, of QLS diploma last year, so they will help me in trying to answer to your questions in the forum. Thank you, Michel. Uh, thank you, Antonio. 
I will say a few words um, uh, about condensed matter group, and then I will ask Patricia and uh, Sandra also to say a few words um, about our organization of, of the diploma uh, program and diploma office. So again, I'm Mikhail Kiselev. I'm coordinator of uh, postgraduate diploma program in condensed matter physics. Um, you can find information of our courses, which are split in two terms, um, first term and second term in the internet. Basically, there are uh, 10 courses of with example of say advanced quantum mechanics, mathematical technique, statistical mechanics, advanced statistical mechanics, many body physics, electron structure, uh, calculations, electrons and phonons and solids. So you will uh, get detailed information uh, there. Uh, the program assumes also a mini research project at the end of your stay. So the lectures run from September till May. Then the students uh, have three months for any research project. They defend um, uh, their thesis. Um, and meantime, students are applying uh, for PhD position, which I said is typically very successful uh, procedure. Um, so um, I'm welcome, welcoming you to ask more specific questions, but let me give floor to Patrizia, uh, Patrizia Pazarella, please. Hello, everybody. Um, part of what I was supposed to say has just been said by Professor Kizalev. Thank you, Professor Kizalev. Basically, as Professor Kizalev said, the, the term starts in September, and then uh, after three months holidays and exams between December and January, you have a break, a couple of weeks, because the ICTP closes for Christmas holidays. You have some exam, half of the exams November, December, and another half during the first two weeks of January. Then the second term starts. Lectures, depending on the field, last until beginning of May at the latest. Exams, the last exams should take place maximum within mid-May, and then you have time to prepare your dissertation. You, after you receive the first uh, four grades, so and, and so you will start preparing and applying for PhD positions. Only when you have some exams and some grades can you ask your supervisors or your professors to write recommendation letters for you and start the procedures in case you already have admittance for your future PhD position. The second term starts, as I said, mid general January in general then many of you will have to fin will have to finish their dissertation in advance because there are a number of universities who start their their programs in, in August especially in mathematics especially in mathematics so many of you will have to do it in a shorter time in that case, you are supposed to ask your supervisor if he thinks that you are able to do so. But every case is a different case. Sandra and I are in charge of the diploma program secretariat. So any question you may have before applying, you can send us an email at diploma at ictp.it. If you have any question, I'm here, I think, at from the scientific point of view, more or less everything has been said. Every field has its way. For example, high energy physics has a period of two courses, then a break for exams for two weeks, and then they continue with a two couple with a couple of courses. High energy physics has few courses, less courses, but more lectures for every course. Then there are fields that where they have many more courses, but only 12. Uh, lectures for every course. Mathematics is different. For example, during the second term, students are asked to choose among seven, eight courses as long as they reach a certain number of hours. Earth system physics, different. In the, during the second term, they split into two, solid earth and climate. But more or less, the rest is uh, follows the same pattern. Duration of uh, term, time devoted to exams, time devoted to courses, time devoted to dissertation. That's it, more or less. If I forgot something, coordinators can help me. Thank you very much, Patricia. Uh, thank you. Sandra, uh, can you say a few words also? Yes, I think that uh, almost everything was said. I mean, Patricia said everything what it was, was important. So I can only tell you that 
if you need uh, any information regarding the eligibility requirements, I'm here to help you. So you can always address your questions to diploma.ictp.it. You can also find uh, all information on our webpage. I saw that there were some questions. One student uh, raised the question, he's eligible to apply with a bachelor degree. I mean, uh, yes, you are, but of course there are many fa factors that the uh, committee looks when making decision. It's not only the, 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 uh, the importance if you have bachelor or master degree here, there is also the grades you receive, the GPA, recommendation letters and many other things. So if you have any other, uh, there is also one question regarding the scholarship. I don't know if Patricia mentioned that the students receive 225 euro per month plus 22 mil coupons and um, on pro rata, 225 on pro rata basis and the uh, round trip travel expenses plus accommodation is also included. In any case, I mean, for any questions, please send us an email or if you need, if you want to ask now, you are, feel free, if, please feel free to do that. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sandra. So let's start um, with some general information which are contained in the questions. Um, uh, I have a list of questions submitted um, to the Public Information Office, and I try to sort them out in categories. So there are some general questions. And maybe the most important question which many people ask is if this program is free or not, some uh, fees. So the program is free. So moreover, as I said, the program welcomes uh, um, roughly 10 students per section, which in total means 50 plus minus one, two students um, uh, per year. And those students who are selected uh, for the program are getting fellowship. This is what Sandra already mentioned. And in addition, this fellowship students will be paid to travel from their home country and, and back. So these two travels, two leg travel are also included. Um, Many students ask how are the chances to be admitted. I should tell you that uh, the program is very uh, competitive. Namely, we um, expect average per year, something like, like 900 or maybe 1,000 applications, which means that there are roughly 200 applications per section. And I remind that we select 10 students. So therefore, uh, you can uh, see <laughs> that <coughs> uh, it's really very tough competition, and I wish you uh, to be winner of this competition. Um, there are some prerequisites, uh, but it's also mentioned that these prerequisites are not really um, engraved on a stone. So it's written that the master degree um, is expected, but in some cases there are exceptions, and a bachelor uh, a degree can also be considered. If you have a doubt or you would like um, to uh, ask um, if you are entitled to apply or not, please send your question uh, to the coordinator. But in general, if you have a strong feeling um, that um, the ICTP postgraduate diploma program is perfect for you, and you would really, uh, this is a dream of your life, please don't hesitate to apply. But you are also, you should also keep in mind uh, that there are many applications and there is a tough competition. Another condition which is written uh, is age condition that we expect that applicant is not older than 28 years old. But again, if you have a strong feeling that uh, this, uh, this program is just for you and you can explain uh, that even being older than 28 um, years old, you still uh, feel yourself as a very strong candidate, candidate, please feel free to apply uh, for the position or if you have a doubt, please contact uh, the coordinator. If you contact diploma office, um, please, uh, at the beginning of your letter, write which section you are going to apply, uh, which country are you from. It will help um, Patricia and Sandra to uh, forward your message to um, a corresponding coordinator. If you write your letter to the um, coordinator directly, please start your letter with addressing to the person. It's, it's a bad style to write, hi guy, uh, I'm interested in. Please um, feel, please, I mean, write uh, the name of the person whom you would like to get response from. Please write your name, your country, um, and uh, your uh, position uh, in your country, namely, you got your master degree. It will help 
us to uh, send you um, some um, expert opinion and uh, some uh, response as soon as possible. I remind you that deadline for the application is um, February 15. So you're expected to complete your application and also arrange recommendation letters. It's very important that recommendation letter um, are enclosed to your application. Um, the procedure is explained um, in um, uh, uh, the um, uh, explanation for application. So we need a recommendation letter in order to consider um, your application. So this is what I wanted to say in general um, about general questions. If somebody uh, wants to add something, then Sorry, I go Professor to Kiselev, we have some hands raised. Yes, yes. But as I explained at the very beginning, I would first go along the list with more uh, general questions uh, because people submitted these questions in advance. And then um, in remaining like 25 minutes, I try to go quick um, through these questions. Um, and then in remaining 25 minutes, we start live session of questions and answers. My understanding that the meeting um, will take place for one hour. So if you will not find answer to your question uh, during this meeting, please feel free to send your question either to one of the coordinators or to the diploma office. And your question will not remain unanswered. And I apologize if we will not be able to answer all questions, but I hope we try and we will try to do our best to do so. Um, so um, uh, there are some questions um, about um, whether it's theoretical or experimental. Uh, again, you can find information about courses um, in the web page. ICTP uh, is located in a very nice area, Trieste. You see it on my uh, background. This is Miramar Castle, and you may see ICTP uh, just, just on the screen, but ICTP is in Trieste, and Trieste is one of scientific cities. So there is, for example, um, CISA, which is a school of advanced study, uh, one of the best, um, uh, say, universities or uh, university style um, uh, academic organization of Italy. There is University of Trieste, but in addition, there is a synchrotron. So for those students uh, who would uh, like to do their research um, in connection uh, with some experiment or whatever, you will find such a possibility. Although, please remember that ICTP is the Abdus Salam International Center for Theoretical Physics. So we're all doing uh, theoretical physics. Um, so people are asking um, about um, applications. I explained um, that deadline is extended until February 15. People are asking about recommendation. I explained to you um, uh, that recommendations also have to be submitted before the deadline. Uh, then people are asking, how do we hear about uh, evaluation of um, our uh, application? So the evaluation will start immediately after the deadline. It takes some time. Um, as I mentioned, there is roughly 200 application for 10 position per section. Uh, but as soon as um, selection is done, uh, you will receive a letter uh, from um, uh, diploma, uh, diploma office. Um, and those who are selected uh, will receive this letter first uh, because we also form sort of uh, the short list. If some people uh, decline uh, the offer, uh, the offer goes to the next person. Uh, so therefore, uh, we don't send all letters simultaneously. But uh, typically, you will hear from us, uh, let me say, beginning of May, those who are selected. And all people who applied will receive uh, their letters uh, regarding status of their application, uh, say, by, by June. Um, again, I'm saying. Uh, uh, this is the standard way to proceed, but I would like to remind you that uh, starting 2020, we are living in new reality uh, because of COVID, um, and therefore uh, some dates uh, can be shifted, postponed a little bit. Uh, but, and, and again, I'm apologizing for that. Um, uh, so please, please be patient. Please don't send us email on uh, February 16 uh, asking uh, what is the status of your application. Uh, you will get this information um, in, in, in due time. Uh, this is about uh, procedure. Procedure. So uh, for requirement for diploma program, coordinators um, also 
already um, explained um, it. So then <coughs> uh, uh, there are some um, uh, questions um, about uh, the applications. Uh, you need to, by the way, upload um, your uh, certificates, mm, some uh, files uh, cop of copies of your uh, uh, certificates. Um, uh, there are uh, some um, uh, uh, questions um, about uh, PhD. This is actually a separate topic. Uh, today, we are talking about the postgraduate diploma program. Um, uh, but uh, PhD is the future for many of you. Um, so I would like to postpone this specific question uh, uh, and uh, listen to those who uh, raise the hand. Other comments uh, from coordinators. Uh, did I forget to say something important? Please unmute your microphone and, and tell. Um, maybe I should say in, in mathematics, uh, the procedure is uh, slightly different than what you said. So we, we go through the files and we, we make a, a, a very long, uh, quite a longer short list. And the people who are on that short list, we will then contact and we will interview them uh, via, uh, and then uh, on the basis of these interviews, we, you know, we decide uh, whom we invite and who's put on the short list and so on. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll not hear from us only uh, at the end, but uh, we want to, uh, you know, in particular, you know, on the basis of what you send us, we make kind of first uh, impression, but then uh, we want to really see whether, you know, we have to check uh, what you know and so on. And, uh, and how you, uh, anyway. And so we will have these interviews. Thank you, Lothar. Uh, thank you for uh, this very important remark. Actually, interview uh, is also standard for almost all, all sections. So um, uh, thank you. So let me proceed with uh, raised hands. Um, I will start with uh, Sahet Alabi uh, Agbolas. Yes. Please, uh, I apologize if I misspell your name. Uh, sometimes it's yes. very difficult to pronounce. Yes. I'm very sorry. Yeah, yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you very much, sir. I'm Saeed Aladi, I've been pronounced from Nigeria. Now, I'm a first graduate of chemistry from a state university in Nigeria. I will go straight directly to, to my question. Going through the site of the ICTP, I was able to observe the set out programs, but specifically, I did not see anything related to chemistry. But the the uh, the section that I'm working with on the chemistry is the computational chemistry, basically on the computer-aided drug discovery, whereby we are making an impact to make sure that uh, we work on the unmet medical needs. So what I want to ask is that what is the provision for for the intending chemistry for the Postgraduate diploma through the IC, ICTP. Basically, the, my branch is on the computational chemistry. I have some research work that have been published on that. And at the same time, there are still many work ongoing that I'm doing, sir. Okay, uh, thank you. If you allow me, I say a few words myself, and then probably Antonio uh, add something. So, first of all, I would say uh, that your topic of interest. Um, is along the line of research uh, done in condensed metaphysics because um, several of my colleagues are working on soft condensed matter in uh, chemistry related stuffs of quantum chemistry with the methods of time, um, uh, uh, with a density functional theory, um, with the first principle atomistic calculations. So um, I would really welcome your application and uh, your uh, research line uh, is along the lines of research of condensed matter section. Antonio, if you would like to add. Yes, uh, I can say that computational chemistry uh, is not along the lines of what to do a quantitative life sciences. So you, your CV would be definitely a better fit for condensed matter and statistical physics, like uh, Misha just said. Mm -hmm. I see that Patrizia wants to say something. Patrizia, please. I see your hand raised. Yes. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I just wanted to. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. I just wanted to add something 
to what Sandra said about salary and accommodation just to, to be more complete. So the situation this year due to the pandemic was very different than from previous years. Students stayed at our guest houses. So, but usually, usually when the situation we hope will not be like this anymore, then you will receive a higher salary and you will be staying in private accommodation. But for some people who may be able to go to the university guest house, but this doesn't depend on us, depends on their availability. So the salary, the, re, the reduced salary, the salary just mentioned, that Sandra just mentioned, is a reduced salary only for students staying in our guest house. We hope that for next academic year, the situation will be different and students will be finally ready to go and get their private accommodation. This is what I wanted to say about salary and accommodation. Full salary is 800 euro slash 850 and meal coupons, as Sandra said. I just wanted to complete, okay? Thank you very much, Patrizia. I will proceed with the next question. So Zainab, I see you first. Sorry, the lists are different. So I will uh, make the order uh, according to the pictures I see on the screen. Zainab, please unmute your microphone and ask your question. Okay, thank you. Uh, my name is Zainab Hisham, I'm from Egypt. Uh, I have graduated from Cairo University with a double major in mathematics and astronomy. But then I decided to go with mathematics uh, in uh, uh, research and so on. I went uh, to Ames, Rwanda, and had a Master of Science in Mathematical Sciences. Uh, so my, uh, my question goes to the Department of Mathematics, actually, uh, about the criteria of, uh, of, re of reviewing the, the applications. Like, what makes um, someone, a referee, who is uh, reviewing the application, refuses it? Is it um, the grades, if they are not so good, or if some of them are not very good, would that completely just they will exclude that student uh also the motivation the uh, the recommendation letters what what makes um, like an important weight of the application Lothar, um, please. Thank what you, makes ah, okay your question is clear Lothar, please yeah well I mean, it's maybe not so easy to answer so i mean i think we we try to take into account uh, everything so the the uh, so the the marks the grades will play a role i mean if uh, you know maybe if uh, the marks are not so good then maybe you could uh, maybe even could try to explain uh, what the reason is or something or uh, um and uh, the letters are you know are maybe uh, more uh, are maybe even more important so that uh, the letters uh, tell us something about you and uh, um you know that some you have been able to impress somebody or whatever to, and uh, or that we uh, or that somebody thinks you uh, you are, uh, are good and and you i mean it's also good to to write some something you know why you want to come what your aim is and so on but uh, you know and what you have uh, studied what has interested you most in you know there's some motivation that but i i think uh, you know we look at it all i mean if the marks are very very bad then you know, you would have to give us a reason uh, so that we can understand uh, uh, why. And uh, if, uh, you know, and it also really depends on what people write. So. Thank you, Lothar. Um, I will proceed with the next question. Um, so Ilyasu uh, Tukur, the floor is yours, please. All right, thank you very much. Uh, good day to you all. My name is Ilyas Tukur, I'm from Nigeria a graduate of mathematics from Kent University of Science and Technology. So my question is, uh, I understand that one can edit his application uh, as long as the deadline is not met. So there are some documents that maybe I did not upload because they are not available. So and I submit the application already. So my question is that, can I upload those uh, documents even after submission and after I upload those documents, can I, did I still have to resubmit the application again, or I'll just save the, the, the session and just leave it? Thank you. Uh, Patricia, uh, can you answer this question? Yes. So, in theory, of course, you have to decide 
whether you can uh, be accepted even if you don't have your documents ready. But if the coordinator agrees, you can in the meantime be accepted under the condition that you send us this document as soon as possible. Especially in which uh, it depends also on the document. If you're talking about the bachelor, then the bachelor is important. You cannot be accepted without a bachelor. But very often it happens that a student doesn't actually has, have his bachelor until let's say June, July. Well, in that case, it's up to the coordinator to accept you. If the coordinator accepts, as soon as you receive your bachelor, you can send it at the second stage. Mm -hmm. Is this uh, the answer you need? Thank you. Thank yes. you very much. Um, so, uh, Arip, please. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Salam. My name is Arip Nurrahman from Indonesia. Uh, I have a question. Uh, I am a physics teacher and then graduate from master degree in physics education. But I have a dreams to continue my education, especially in a doctoral degree uh, in physics or mathematics. But I aware that my uh, mathematical ability is very low, not so not so brilliant. So. Can I, as a physics teacher, continue my uh, diploma program and in ICTP and how I, uh, I must prepare? Uh, maybe Mr. Uh, Dr. Lothar can answer my question and then guide me to become an ICTP diploma student. Thank you so much. Salam from Indonesia. Thank you, Arip. Lothar? OK, so I mean, <clears throat> obviously, we, we have to to see, I mean, I, I would suggest if you very much want to uh, come here, you do apply and you uh, explain uh, uh, your situation and uh, we will look uh, at it. I mean, obviously, you know, there will, it's very competitive, so I cannot guarantee that, uh, uh, that we will uh, select you. And uh, so, yeah, it could be useful. I mean, I mean, obviously, as I said, I cannot guarantee that we will, uh, select you or, or even uh, select you for an interview, but it could be useful if you uh, do review a little bit, uh, whatever basic mathematics you know, so that, uh, you know, because one of the things that we check in the interview, uh, you know, or that we check anyway, is that, uh, you know, you have the prerequisites that are necessary to understand uh, our courses. And so, you know, we, if, if you, we are interview, we will ask you some basic questions and we'll try to have you, talk about uh, you know some basic things and uh, you know it would be better if you actually are familiar with it but uh, <laughs> but no just you know so the uh, the basic things of uh, that you have learned before you should be uh, feel uh, sure uh, with it you know algebra to basic topology analysis and so on okay uh, thank you Lothar and Ari, I would like to add that ICTP uh, has several programs. Uh, for example, there is a STEP program. STEP stays for st uh, Sandwich Training Educational Program, uh, which is joint PhD program with, uh, for example, university, one of the universities in Indonesia. In addition, there is a short visit program. Uh, there is associate program. So please visit uh, ICTP website, www.ictp.it, and just look for various opportunities. Uh, maybe some of these opportunities fit better to your profile. Okay, uh, the next is Nguye, uh, Nguyeya. Uh, uh, Nguyeya, please unmute your microphone and ask question. Okay, thank you, sir. It's Nguyeya, Nguyeya. Okay, I'm from Cameroon. I'm a physicist, actually I'm I'm preparing my master two degree, so I'm in master two. And I'm uh, also at Ems Cameroon, yeah, at Limbe. Please, we have a dream to become a great physicist in the domain of cosmology. And for instance, I wish to know if, if someone, for instance, don't, doesn't have some background in one field, he want to apply to the ICTP. Uh, is it uh, impossible for him? after maybe he applied to be selected. Giovanni, please. Yes. 
Yes, so I can maybe undisclose basically the basic requirements that we look for when we look for uh, students. And uh, basically they are uh, uh, the basic knowledge on quantum mechanics, advanced quantum mechanics, uh, uh, special relativity, and uh, classical uh, uh, physics, uh, electromagnetism, and uh, uh, also basics of uh, uh, complex analysis and uh, mathematical methods. So if you have covered all these uh, subjects, then you will be eligible to on our diplomacy. We, we don't require any special uh, knowledge of cosmology or more advanced uh, topics. I don't know if this is the answer you want. Uh, thank you, Giovanni. Um, uh, well, uh, I am reading uh, questions submitted to Public Information Office, and I see several questions that if, if it is possible to participate simultaneously in two diploma programs. Unfortunately, the answer is no. Uh, the student should uh, select which program he or she is applying for. However, uh, for several years, we run some joint courses, and I think we work more in this direction to have elective course courses to see some courses we join uh, between uh, sections but if you apply uh, if you submit your application you need to decide which diploma program you are applying so masar um, it's your time to ask question yes thank you uh, i am masar from iraq i have a master degree in physics uh, actually uh, my problem uh, sorry my my question is specifically on the recommendation letters uh, we have good professors regarding to uh, to their publications and other stuff, but we don't really have this. Uh, like I am talking about our professors who who teach me or supervise me, we don't have really this uh, recommendation culture. So uh, uh, when when I ask them many times to write a recommendation letter for me, I see many 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 of it like uh, it's not going with the standards. Like it's it's may like. They just say general thing about me and don't really detail what they what they what they can say about me. And I think this may weaken my my application if I applied or. Um, well, again, what I am going to say is a sort of advice. Um, first of all, um, you are in the university. You uh, work some with some lecturers. You have your favorite lecture course where you are the most active, something which attracts uh, your attention. And I think it's a um, good idea to approach this lecturer, professor, particularly if you have already done exam with this course and ask just to write a few words how they see you performing during the course and exam. It will help us a lot. Uh, second, um, you know, ICTP, as I mentioned, has several programs. Uh, ICTP is functioning for more than 50 years, and we have very big uh, group of our friends in all countries. Those people who are our associates or former associates who participated in ICTP conferences, who are known uh, to our community, and uh, you can approach such people, and these people exist almost in every university in, in the world. So you can approach such person who knows um, about ICTP, uh, who knows about uh, what uh, um, colleagues need to um, know about you. And I think all these friends will be ready to help you and will be ready to help us. That, that's uh, just one, one question regarding that, because I know two people who particip participated in ICTP before, and uh, they are actually uh, like they they was in the conference that, uh, in the conference committee that I gave my 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 lecture there sorry my my talk there and other stuff so would they help like if uh, can I ask them for a, a recommendation letter sure of course I them was the head of community uh, like of the examination committee for for my thesis defense yeah, of course, uh, please, please ask these people, but of course, please uh, keep in mind that you need to ask those people who know you, who uh, can tell us some important information about you, which will help us to do the selection. Okay, okay. understood. Thank you. Thank you. If somebody wants to add something, Antonio, um, uh, Ricardo, re about recommendation letters. Well, maybe I just say uh, 
general command uh, that the selection process is a multifactorial process. So we take into account many, many factors. Uh, recommendation letters are one part of it, uh, but also personal motivation is a big part of it. And the grades uh, and uh, your attitude, your background, uh, and then if you happen to make it to the interviews, uh, how uh, you react uh, when challenged uh, on a topic that you're not familiar with. Uh, so it's a, it's, a, it's a very complex process by which we try to evaluate mostly your attitude, your uh, ability and capability to learn rather than what you already learned so far. Uh, that's, that's something that I wanted to make clear. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Antonio. Uh, let me proceed with the next person, Muhammad. Muhammad Alem, please. Muhammad. Uh, thank you. Thank you, sir, for organizing this program. Uh, I'm Muhammad Alem from Afghanistan. I have done my BS in physics from Afghanistan and MS in physics from India. I have two short questions. Uh, the first question is regarding the documents. Since I have, uh, since I have uh, graduated recently, I uploaded the, the provisional uh, certificate instead of the degree certificate and the Mars card, as well as I uploaded the medium English, uh, English medium certificate instead of IELTS or TOEFL. Uh, I would like to know: uh, Does the this, do these things will affect my uh, application or or uh, no problem? Uh, let me quickly answer, and then I ask uh, my colleagues to add. Um, of course, uh, proficiency in English is very important. It's important from both sides. First of all, it's important for you because the official uh, language of the institute is English. All teaching is done in English, and if you don't. Uh, sufficiently uh, skillful in English, it will be a problem for you because you will not be fully understanding what uh, the lectures um, are about. Uh, and second, it's important, important for us because uh, when you start asking questions, we also need to understand uh, you. As far as the document is concerned, uh, we appreciate uploading any document you have, but you also ask a question uh, to um, estimate how good you are in writing, in reading, in understanding. So this is also, we trust your evaluation, but please be fair uh, with this because this is important from both sides, as I said. Uh, Patricia, maybe you add something about that. We don't require TOEFL, but we require a certificate of proficiency in English. So uh, it, we prefer, not to accept just your transcript in which among the topics and that you have followed, there is also English language. We prefer a certificate in which your English is officially certified as good or average or whatever from a, either your university or a course that you have followed. Regarding the first question about your uh, degree, if it's a provisional degree, you can upload it. Transcripts, the same applies for transcripts. Or in the worst hypothesis that you don't even have a, a degree, in very few exceptional cases, we may accept a letter from the head of your department that writes, officially writes a letter in which it says that you are going to receive your degree on signed by him, scanned and send it to us as last uh, option. Uh, thank you, Patricia. Uh, Marianne, I see that we have 16 more questions, but we have five minutes before ending of this meeting. How should we proceed? Do we proceed with all questions and disregard uh, the time constraint or we should respect the time? It, it's up to you. Um, we can continue the, mini, the, the meeting as long as possible. If we need to cut it short, we can advise participants to please email their questions to the diploma office and we can pick them up from there. Uh, okay, if, I, uh, uh, if you accept my suggestion, um, I see this uh, 15 or 16 questions. I uh, would suggest to answer these uh, questions, but I would like to ask not to send more questions uh, in raising hands, but rather send them by, by email. 
If you find this acceptable, please let me know. If you uh, think that we need to proceed with all questions which arises during uh, the talk, please let me know. So as nobody complained, we proceed with these uh, 15 questions. So Jean Baptiste, uh, uh, you are the next. Please unmute your microphone. Jean Baptiste Fran, come. I, I cannot see uh, your full name, unfortunately. Yeah, Jean, Jean Baptiste Fran, come. Okay. Thanks, Professor, to give me the floor to express myself. My name is Jean Baptiste Fankam Fankam. I am a PhD student at the University of Yaoundé One in Computational Material Science. I am in the administrative procedure to defend my PhD. So, my question is about the the opportunity at ICTP. Um, I'm interested in machine learning applying to physics, particularly in, in GFT. I want to know if uh, in ICTP we have an opportunity to have a, a scientific uh, research, a, visit, a scientific research visit or a postdoc in machine learning applying to, to GFT. Thanks. Uh, uh, thank you, Jean-Baptiste. Uh, the quick answer, quick and short answer to your question is yes. We do uh, uh, have a research in uh, machine learning um, in connection with atomic simulation, in connection uh, with density functional uh, theory. We have experts in the section working in this direction. We have atomistic seminar, which you are welcome to attend uh, if you feel yourself strong to understand what's going on there. And you will definitely find a topic for your mini research project in this field. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. So the next is Eugene, Eugene Mal uh, Malama, please. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Eugene Malama from Zambia. Um, my question is uh, is on the, the the recommendations. Apparently, um, I've done some. I've done some. I've asked for recommendations from from my Professors, first of all, I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a graduate uh, with a bachelor's of um, science and mathematics. Um, I have, uh, so my question is, I have uh, asked for some recommendations from uh, professors. They have written for me some recommendations that I have with my, in the written. But when I was doing my application for this program, um, I was asked to, to just submit uh, the details and uh, the emails uh, for for, for my for people to recommend me. Now, um, the challenge that I'm having is that most of these people are the ones who, who even uh, wrote some recommendations for me. So I was asking, is it possible that I can submit these very uh, recommendations by just forwarding the documents that have been written? Uh, if I understood your question correctly, you have some recommendation from previous submission. You are probably not applying for the first time. And you would like to uh, use this recommendations given to you in connection with something else. Is it correct? Yes, in, the, in uh, connection to the master's applications, yes. Well, um, uh, uh, maybe my colleagues correct me, uh, but as far as condensed matter um, is concerned, uh, we really appreciate recommendations addressed to us. Namely, uh, there are certain questions asked um, uh, uh, to evaluate you as applicant. And we would like uh, to uh, have these recommendations uh, really written in connection with your application to the postgraduate uh, diploma program. So if in other sections there are different opinion, so please tell it. No, I think I agree. We would like to have uh, your, and it's, I think it's also, you know, important for us that the recommendations are submitted via, you know, directly by the uh, people who recommend on our system. You know, it's a, uh, you know, it is important for us that we know that you, uh, you know, that you or whoever applies have not seen, the, you know, you know, because people, uh, the people who recommend you. Uh, can be, you know, can say whatever they want and uh, be very honest with us if they know that you don't see it. If, if you see it, they might be more polite and so on. And in some sense, that doesn't help us so much because we want kind of the, the unfiltered opinion. 
Thank you, Lothar. Uh, thank you. I would like to kindly remind people not to raise the hands anymore because unfortunately due to some technical reasons we cannot stay connected for several hours and also this session is going to be recorded and going to be available probably at ictp youtube channel and again i'm apologizing i'm taking first person uh, from the screen which might not be the first might not be the right order of persons who would like to ask questions so my first person in the list is saima uh, jabin please Saima. Hello, sir. <clears throat> sir, I'm uh, a physics student. I've done my bachelor's uh, from KIU, Gilgit, Baldistan, uh, Pakistan. Uh, I want to study uh, at ITP, ICTP. Um, I want to uh, ask a question that uh, how many students uh, you have select, uh, you have to select from a country, uh, minimum or maximum? Uh, thank you for your question. In principle, ICTP, of course, uh, is working to provide the general geographic distribution. So, which means that, uh, for example, if you are selected and come to ICTP, you will see real multicultural uh, society, community. You will see your friends from coming from almost everywhere uh, from uh, the world. So, uh, uh, there is no rule which says that we, on one hand, oblige to take students from certain country, and on the other hand, we should limit the number of students uh, from uh, the certain country. We are just going to take the best students. So your um, education, your quality, you, uh, your motivation, your recommendation is the most important factors for uh, the selection. Uh, this is my answer, but I would like to ask my colleagues to uh, add something or to correct me if, uh, if you want to say something more. Second question is, uh, um, did uh, GPA matters a lot? Uh, mean, uh, mean that uh, you should have to be uh, A plus or A1, or rather a yeah, minimum or average? Uh, again, as it was mentioned several times here, it's a multifactorial uh, process. Uh, so there is no single parameter. So if you have A plus, it doesn't automatically mean that you are selected, or if you have C or, or say B plus, it doesn't mean automatically that you are not selected. There are many factors involved in, in the selection. Uh, so please don't worry. If you feel strongly that this program is for you and you have strong motivation to study at ACTP and do research, please apply, please write your words for your motivation, why you are going to uh, join ICTP team and we will read your application with our full respect. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Falone, uh, uh, this is your term. Uh, I don't see a picture, so I would also suggest that if possible, those who speak uh, show us who you are. Thank you, Falone. Uh, so, morning, everybody. I'm Falone Ku from Congo Brazzaville. Um, I graduate uh, my master's degree in computational material physics. So, I have two questions. The, the first one is, uh, because of this pandemic, COVID-19, I want to know what are the measures taken for, for the courses? I mean, is, is the courses will be face-to-face -face or online? And the second question is for you, Dr. Mikhail. Yeah, I want to know if you apply for condensed matter physics, uh, do you have the possibility to do your thesis in whatever courses is given in this program? Thank you for, very much for your uh, very important question. Um, uh, it was mentioned several times that we, uh, since uh, beginning of 2020, we are living in new reality uh, because of pandemic. Uh, so the situation changes um, very rapidly in both directions. But first of all, I would like um, uh, to say that uh, ICTP is located in Italy and therefore we follow Italian regulation rules. Whatever regulation rules uh, tell us, um, we proceed in accordance with the law. So if uh, the area in red, orange, or yellow uh, zone, it changed many factors. Uh, for example, when our students of 2020, 2021 academic year arrived, they all arrived, they start arriving in September. All students stayed 14 days, 
in self-isolation in one of the ICT biggest houses. They will be provided food. They will provide internet connection, everything. They were staying one person per room. Um, and they start attending lectures online. After this self-isolation period, the situation changed in Italy. Uh, uh, there was a good uh, statistics. Um, so there were a few positive cases in particular in area. Therefore, in-person lectures were allowed. So students after self-isolation continue to stay, um, uh, continue to attend lectures, but not online, but <coughs> in presence. Of course, all safety measures um, were taken into account. Students were, and lecturers were wearing masks. masks. There were social distancing. There were ventilation of the room. Uh, so all uh, requirements necessary to uh, provide your safety uh, were done. However, later the situation again changed and students switch to online lectures. So all students who stay in one of the guest houses, the rooms are equipped with a computer, with all facility, uh, hardware and software, which necessary for your uh, efficient education in the center. For now on, we still run in the online regime. Um, however, as soon as the situation will improve, and you know that in Europe vaccination start, um, that and we all hope to uh, get vaccine sometimes maybe um, in the middle of the year, maybe a bit later. Uh, so the situation definitely change and the answer, the detailed answer depends on uh, several factors. Uh, I hope I answer briefly uh, to this question concerning doing research. It's even more than you asking. Of course, you can uh, do mini research project in any research direction uh, where uh, the expertise is provided in the group. Uh, but in addition, we have strong collaboration with neighboring institutions like CISA, Electra, Synchrotron. So if you find out that you need some expertise beyond the expertise provided uh, in the uh, condensed matter group, for example, you can find um, in most cases this expertise in one of the neighboring institution. Our external lecturers also come from this neighboring institution. So there are plenty of opportunities and you will find the uh, most uh, important direction for your life and the most interesting topic for your research. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Nushinek, uh, this is your time to ask question. Hi. So please, yeah, please. Hi, uh, my name is Nushinek, and I'm from Iran. And uh, I have a master's in we cannot hear you. The connection is so bad. I unfortunately, um, there is sort of echo, or maybe if you turn uh, off, maybe it become better. Please try. Uh, can you hear me? It's a bit better. So you speak slow and maybe yeah. turn off. Okay. Uh, my question uh, I, I am from Iran and I have. As matter in astrophysics, and my question is about uh, the, the, the uh, okay uh, amount uh, of uh, master. I have my I'm sorry. It looks like that we will not be able to um, uh, get your question uh, because we hear only part of your sentences. And sometimes part of the world work. So if you send your question by email, uh, yes, I email. Uh, thank you very thank much. You. Sorry, sorry for that. Um, we proceed with the next. Sandra, Rebecca, it's your time to ask question. This. Thank you for the opportunity. My question is, when I was applying, I couldn't find climate science, yet is what I'm, I'm mastering in right now. I only found their condensed matter physics, high energy, that systems, I couldn't find the program for climate science. I'm requesting on some hint on that. So Ricardo, um, well, first of all, I think all information is available, but maybe Ricardo can send you direct link uh, for this particular information. Ricardo, would you like to add something? Uh, 
<clears throat> yes, I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't hear properly the question, but uh, I can, yeah, you can, uh, if you, if, if you I want understand to... it correctly, um, uh, uh, she cannot find um, uh, the information about courses of Earth uh, and climate physics. And she's okay. going to apply for Earth and climate uh, physics uh, diploma program. Okay, so the uh, the courses should all be there on the website, but I can send you a direct link or more information if you need. So you can just send me an email. If you if you go on the uh, diploma website and you look for the uh, coordinators, you will find me and you can send me an email and we can get in touch and I can give you all the information that you need. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Ricardo. Anis, Anis, Jonas. We cannot hear you. Anis, we cannot hear you. Please send your question by email and we proceed with the next person. Thank you. Um, Sudipta Paul, please. Hello, Professor. Hello. Uh, am I audible? Yeah, we can hear you, please. Okay. Okay. Um, so my name is Sudip Tupol and I'm from India. So I graduated my master degree in this year. So I have double the specialization, both in astronomy and high energy physics. So my motivation to enter to IC ICTP is that, uh, can <clears throat> these subjects be studied in simultaneously or one has to choose, uh, astronomy or high energy physics? Giovanni? Uh, and my and my second question is, uh, can I say, can I speak? Please, please. Oh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> in the English proficiency, uh, I uploaded my uh, undergrad English subject uh, marking, means, uh, means scores. So will it be OK? Uh, didn't get the second question. Uh, okay. Yes. I have to speak. Okay. Uh, my second question is that in the English proficiency in the application form, I added my undergrad English lit, uh, score. We do not have English subject. Uh, we do not have English uh, separate uh, like uh, books or something examination in the masters. So all the courses have been taken in the English, but uh, but uh, specifically in the undergrad course, we have the English subject means uh, where we have to write essays, poems, some something else. So I have added that in the English proficiency, uh, in the uh, English proficiency box, so PDF format. So will it, um, will it work? Okay, I will ask, I will answer the first question. And uh, the answer is that uh, we only cover high energy physics, not astronomy. Uh, people with interest in astrophysics can also welcome to apply. Uh, so if uh, you you are only interested in astronomy, probably I would not I'll suggest. No, I mean I mean just in both in uh, astrophysics and high energy physics. So... Yeah, astrophysics and high energy physics are both covered. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, about the English proficiency, uh, well maybe Patricia may answer this better than me. Well, uh, as you are from India, we are we don't require a certificate of being proficiency in English. Okay, awesome. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Giovanni. Thank you, Patrizia. Uh, Zeishan, uh, please unmute your microphone and ask your question. Asalaamu As Alaikum. Hi. Uh, so I'm from Pakistan and uh, I'm currently a student of MSc in Qadiyazm University, Pakistan. And uh, I'm currently waiting for my transcript and will be ready inshallah within next three days. And uh, my question was that, uh, as, uh, as I studied about the program included in this diploma, and uh, I found that there are uh, some courses that I have been studied in master degree, uh, namely special relativity and general relativity uh, basic for the, to study in high energy physics. But I, uh, as I have studied in master in, in mathematics, and I want to apply for mathematics in ICTP, 
and uh, i am also interested to study further about general relativity and special relativity and uh, which may be lead me to cosmology and uh, my question finally precisely is that can i pick two or three courses from high energy program uh, to include to my final mathematics if i am selected for study in rct hopefully you understand my question hmm. giovanni lotar please well i mean i don't know whether it is really so it will be really so easy i mean the the courses uh, i mean in theory uh, uh, what you do in your spare time if uh, there are uh, if the co if the courses don't intersect is not you know is your choice on the other hand you will find out if if you come here that the courses are very intense and you have to work a lot and i don't think normally you would expect to be able uh, to take uh, i mean maybe you can look at one extra course or something but to to look at several extra courses at the same time as you follow our diploma program in mathematics i think that is uh, impossible for normal people i mean it's really quite hard work and quite a lot of courses and i don't think you can do that or anybody can but uh, uh, maybe you know <laughs> anyway that's my opinion hopefully there will be some exception hmm? what uh, uh, i I studies. Uh, I have studied uh, a lot of things about special and general relativity, and uh, my teacher name is uh, Dr. Khalis Afulla, mm -hmm. student of uh, Dr. Abdul Qadir, and uh, student of uh, Roger Penrose as well. Mm -hmm. They taught me the uh, the two subjects, and I have learned a lot of things about that. That is why I want to choose one or two. Subjects uh, about cosmology. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Giovanni, if you'd like to add something, otherwise I will come to the next person. No, I think uh, I agree with Lothar. So thank you, thank, thank you. you, sir. Yeah, uh, Demelo, please unmute your microphone and ask question. Hi everyone, can you hear me? Okay, yes, and see me too, right? We, you can see you and we can hear you. Okay, good. Uh, my, my question is more directed to Lothar and Patricia, maybe they can answer. Uh, I think it was Patricia that mentioned uh, we can choose, I believe it was five courses in the mathematics program. And my question is, uh, how many courses do we take each term and in total? Like, is there a minimum, a maximum? Then that would be it. Oh, and thank you for organizing this Q&A. And I'm João, I'm a math graduate from Brazil. I want to apply to the mathematics diploma program. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so, uh, I think it's so it is uh, five courses in the first semester and five courses in the second semester it's uh, in, in the first semester you have no choice I mean you take our five courses I mean maybe uh, sometimes we do it if somebody already uh, knows uh, uh, everything uh, then they can be excused from the course and have a reading course instead but um, on something more advanced but normally uh, the idea is uh, you know you have just uh, your five courses which are the basic ones which are the foundations of what you need later and then more specialized course you have in the second there are seven choices you choose five <clears throat> i should say uh, you know I, I know so you know that um, uh, it is uh, you know about the there's also, you know, there was some question about the ge geographic uh, distribution. So somebody from Brazil, it is uh, somewhat more difficult to be admitted to the program because it's uh, mostly reserved for, you know, for people where the possibilities of learning are not so good. So I'm, uh, you know, there's uh, this problem also for you. Anyway. Um, thank you, Lothar. Thank you. Uh, Maria Albis. Please. 
We cannot hear you. Please unmute your microphone. Hello. Hello. Hello, my name is Maria Elvis from Venezuela. I have two questions. Uh, the first one is uh, you take, I know you take into account all the aspects for the application, right? Well, for political and social uh, reasons in my country, my faculty has to extend several semesters. And if, therefore, it took a little longer to graduate for many students. Uh, should I clarify that in the comments part of the application of it the, or it doesn't matter? Yes, please, uh, please uh, send us all important clarification. I remember the situation two years ago, we had a student from Guatemala and the university was on strike. He wrote to us that he cannot get a final degree because there was a strike on a campus and he was not, and his professor were not able uh, to uh, come to the campus. We took this into account and luckily, eventually the strike was over, students was admitted and successfully graduated from our diploma program. Please send us everything which you find important uh, and we take it into account. Okay, thank you. And my second question is, as you mentioned, uh, the problem is very com competitive, uh, even from the application. People with a master's degree uh, have priority than those with, are with a bachelor's degree uh, undergraduate. Uh, I didn't get the question. Uh, I mean, uh, what, 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 what is the core of the question? People with master degree in the application have priority than those with a bachelor degree. Uh, again, um, I would not say that this is the rule. Uh, uh, there are many factors, um, and maybe my colleagues correct me, but. Um, sometimes uh, the decision can be taken in a different way. So I would not say priorly that those who have a master have an absolute priority uh, compared to those who have a bachelor degree. We look to many uh, factors like recommendation, uh, letters uh, like your motivation, your devotion, your line of research, which sometimes people do even on a stage of bachelor. So um, please, please, as far as my opinion is concerned, but again, um, Again, if you feel uh, that um, your, uh, this program is very important for you, please apply. Okay, thank you. Ignatius. Hi. Um, hi, hi, everyone. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. I'm Sebast uh, Ignatius Sebastian from Indonesia. I have a bachelor's degree uh, in physics from uh, Bandung Institute of Technology. So um, my question is, uh, besides the eight, uh, is there any uh, requirements uh, for, uh, for the maximum? Sorry, let me rephrase. Is there any uh, requirement that the applicants must be a fresh graduate or maybe uh, been, have been graduated for a maximum uh, years? Because I graduated in 2018 and currently working in different fields, but I still want to continue my study in physics. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your question. Of course, um, uh, all people have a different career line. Sometimes people decide to do something else and return. Uh, and again and again, uh, I would like to repeat it. I said it several times. If you, this is not uh, uh, the factor which prevents you from being selected in general. If you feel uh, that you have strong devotion and strong passion to do, to work in one of the fields where ICTP organized postgraduate diploma program, please, please apply for this program. Write us your motivation, write us uh, everything you find important, uh, attach your certificates, and we will take into account in the selection process. Thank you. Thank you. Anna, Anna Diebert. Hi, yes. Well, my main, my main question is because when I made the, the application, the final step was to add the true ref reference, but then I didn't know what, what was next. Um, if I understood you correctly, you already completed and submit your application. Yes, right. but I don't have any mail or, or anything or just I, I add the reference and that was all. Um, 
Patricia, uh, maybe you can comment um, if diploma office informs applicants if the application is complete, uh, including the recommendation letter or not. I believe that this question uh, should be answered by Snezana. I don't know how the system works. It's automatic. Okay, Anna, let me postpone answering your question. Please send email to diploma office and to me. I will come back to you uh, with a correct answer to your question. It requires uh, uh, some consultation with programmers who maintain and work with the online application, electronic online application system. Okay, yes, another question. Um, um, well, about my papers and certificates, I don't have the transcription yet or any or anyone or anything yet. Is, is there not any problem? Well, in general, I think no. Um, uh, ICTP is multicultural society. We have colleagues uh, and staff members coming from different parts of the world and speaking almost all main languages of the world. So we will find the person uh, who will advise and explain us about your certificate if necessary. Uh, thanks. Well, I'm from Mexico, so we'll be in Spanish. <laughs> well, in Chinese, it would be maybe problem, although in, in, in even in this case, but um, Spanish and Portuguese uh, and um, this, this will not be a problem. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you. So, Muhammad uh, Sahid. Hello. Yes, please. Hello, everyone. Hello, hope you will listen uh, me patiently. Uh, I have a very, very important question. Uh, from Diploma uh, Secretary and uh, uh, Do Mr. Fernetti, Ricardo Fernetti. Uh, last time I was accepted uh, in Earth System Physics, but unfortunately could not join due to my uh, MS research presentation because I am uh, waiting for the presentation uh, last year. Now I, I have done my master's also. Now my main question is that, uh, can I will apply for this term? Uh, can I put my energies uh, for uh, upcoming uh, session? Can ICT be, will accept me? This is simple question. Uh, please don't mind and I will, uh, I, I am waiting for your answer. Please let me know. Okay, so as, as we said already, uh, having a master doesn't necessarily give you a place at the diploma. So if you want to apply again this year, please do. And then you will have to compete with all the applicants from this year. Uh, sure, hopefully, uh, you know, uh, I am Abit, uh, Dr. Farnetti. Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, that, that's why I'm asking, uh, if you will consider, then hopefully I will put my all efforts and energies. Obviously, ICTP is a prestigious institution. Okay. Thank, you, uh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. I think your question is all answered. Please apply. So next is Basan. Basan okay, Magdi. So Please unmute your Hello? microphone. We cannot hear you. Uh, can you hear me well? Now, yes, please. Yes. Uh, 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 first of all, uh, I want to uh, appreciate uh, your organization uh, in webinar. Uh, I have two questions. Uh, first of all, uh, in uh, um, I uh, applied before uh, uh, in uh, cosmology branch uh, in diploma, uh, but uh, I was unlucky. Uh, I uh, wasn't selected uh, among the people. Uh, uh, I ask you: uh, Is it uh, uh, possible uh, I can reapply uh, this time or not? Giovanni? Yeah, for uh, for sure you can uh, reapply, and uh, we'll reconsider the application as a new application. So we'll again compare your application to all the applicants of this year. Thank you. So the last question is from Sasi Kiran, please. Hi, Professor. Thank you for giving this opportunity. Uh, 
thank you for giving this opportunity so i am shashikiran and i graduated uh, with a master degree in aerospace engineering from sapyanja university of rome and bachelor's in mechanical engineering from india so uh, my question is more uh, relevant to professor ricardo because i want to do specialization in fluid dynamics so that is related to turbulence and some uh, turbulence and there is a lab of applied physics doing research in turbulence and with earth system can i do research in turbulence and fluid mechanics re, uh, application to space science because like i did some courses in stratospheric balloon from germany um, re, uh, to study the atmosphere everything so this is the question for me Hi. So, did you did you say uh, studying turbulence in space science? Yeah. No turbulence uh, in uh, application to uh, earth systems uh, like uh, atmosphere and for um, uh, fluids. Yes, of course. So we. Uh... So my master's in aerospace engineering uh, from University of Rome. Yes, so I mean that there's a that, that that's a very vast field. So of course we uh, we study turbulence in the ocean in the atmosphere. So you could find yes. a project that fits your interest. That's for sure. Okay, professor. And secondly, uh, is there any uh, uh, coding development of numerical simulations for uh, uh, physical problems? Uh, do you have research relevant in this area? If if we have any. numerical simulation of the physical problems related to fluid dynamics yes so in our research we also use a lot of numerical experimentations uh hello can you hear me uh, is it clear professor so I, i was i was saying that of course we also do use and develop uh, numerical methods numerical models and we do numerical experimentations okay that That that, okay, could, that that could be that could be part of your research project, of course. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Before we conclude this meeting, let me ask my colleagues if somebody wants to add something um, to um, to answer to the question to make uh, to provide some general information. So if. not let me first of all thank all participants all students all applicants let least let me remind you to send your further questions to either diploma at ictp.it or to corresponding coordinator um, of the section please look at the ictp webpage www.ictp.it diploma.ictp.it please look at ictp youtube channel and ictp diploma Uh, <coughs> youtube channel um uh, there are two more weeks to submit your application and last but not least let me thank all my colleagues patrizia sandra um lotar uh, giovanni antonio ricardo and last but not least let me thank uh, mary ann public information office for organizing uh, this meeting the video will be available thank you very much <laughs>